Families of fentanyl overdose victims shared their heartbreaking stories about the dangers of the drug. They took part in a discussion with Senator John Cornyn in North Texas about how troubling this trend has become. Fox 4's Alex Boyer, live with more. Alex. Hi, Clarice. And you know, in June, Senator Cornyn introduced legislation to help address uh, the fentanyl crisis. It was passed unanimously uh, by the Senate, and ultimately what it will do is help fund uh, these disorder programs. Here I have a picture of her with her little one. Heartbreaking testimony from North yeah, Texas parents child. who have lost children to a fentanyl overdose. Drew was found lying on the ground inside their home, unresponsive. The parents took part in a roundtable discussion at Children's Health Specialty Center Dallas Monday to raise awareness about the deadly fentanyl crisis. Hold on just a second. I'm, I'll get it together, I promise. Kathy Travis found her 25-year-old daughter dead inside her Dallas apartment last year. The worst day of any parent's life. Last year alone, 1,600 Texans died from a fentanyl overdose. According to medical experts, fentanyl is a leading killer of adults between the ages of 18 and 45, and Texas fentanyl overdoses have risen almost 500 percent since 2019. But the types of kids who are dying of overdoses, they are often having problems with other substances first. Like 18-year-old Chance Nash, who survived a near-fatal overdose. Well, I opened my eyes again and saw Kathy and her son, my friend, crying as I was carried to an ambulance by EMTs after almost dying. Nash lived thanks to the medication Narcan, which every frontline Dallas police officer now carries. The application of this nasal spray can reverse an overdose by blocking the effects of fentanyl. Since 2019, DPD has seized over 15,000 grams of fentanyl, 3,700 grams this year alone. Experts say fentanyl is often pressed into pill form, and users often don't know they're taking the lethal substance, as was the case with Patricia Hammond's daughter. She took a pill that she thought was Xanax, but it was Xanax laced with fentanyl. With help from the DEA, Dallas police will soon use an overdose mapping tool to see where spikes in fentanyl drug use is occurring. And Dallas ISD recently expanded mental health programs, which now includes drug prevention programs. And I found my daughter. She had died. No parent should ever have to live through finding their child dead. And Chance Nash, who you heard from, who survived that fentanyl overdose, he's going to be discharged from his residential uh, treatment program on Thursday. He says he is looking forward to getting his life back on track.